Hey everybody, it's your regular piece of shit back again playing Life is Strange 2. Uh, holy shit, some stuff happened last episode. Last episode, we were in the convenience store. We ended up stealing, um... Uh, uh, water bottles and we bought a loaf of bread and the owner I am assuming came and uh, basically held Sean hostage and Daniel ran off and dude was like kicking the shit out of Sean and then we escaped with Brody the guy that was like doing like the pornography stuff on his computer not really pornography but he was doing like nudism journaling something I don't know what anyway they took off with Brody and Brody uh, knows what, what's going on so Woo, lots happened. I'm excited about that. We're kind of lacking in like the adventure side of things, I feel like, or the um, shocking things. But uh, anyway, so let's get started. Um, so let's get back here and figure out what's gonna happen because Sean mentioned something about going to Mexico, which would be crazy if we did that. Um, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's to come. It feels a lot different than Life is Strange because instead of a best friend scenario, it's a family uh, situation, um, little brother, big brother uh, dynamic, which is different and neat, I think. Pacific Harbor, Oregon, two out. This is the part I think we were just at. Is it? No, it's not. Pacific Harbor, Oregon, two hours later, two hours after we've stopped uh, for a break. We're on the coast. Oh, oh, and the dog! They kept the dog! Her name is Mushroom. Yeah, I don't know, but. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase oh, me. Oh, God, that's cute as fuck. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! I have to fix this. Okay, we're beginning to move now. Uh, we're. It's dark, it's kind of nice actually, really pretty. Um, where is Brody? There he is, Brody's car. We're right next to a motel, some sort. Um, let's see, oh, we can play fetch. Let's play fetch with the dog. We need to connect with this dog, you know? Something, hey, we need something to hold on to. let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Good bonding experience too. I feel like the more we bond, the better cool. things will be. Oh, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Oh, go right there, buddy. Come on, Mushroom. It's just a baby. He's not gonna. There we go. Oh, this is the best. Uh, good God, Mushroom. You're a dream come true. <laughs> good doggy. Good dog. Good kitty. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, okay. Give it to Daniel. Okay, here. Please get your butthole out of the. You, you, you cats in your buttholes. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear, I mean... Wait, is he gonna throw it too far into... Come on, Mushroom. No, he's Come not. On. No, he's not. He's not gonna fuck this up, right? Fetch. There's Brody. We like Brody, but we're not sure about Brody. Come on, Mushroom. Jesus, Merlin, get out of the way. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? Oh. And it's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn. Dude, Brody's the best, okay? Never it's mind. Right He's the best. Room 10. On the second floor. That Listen, was the sweetest fucking thing I don't to do, man. You out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. I think we probably should. Who are we gonna call anyway? He's, I think Broden knows what he's talking about. Okay, you can always get a burner later. Trust me. I trust you, Brody. Hey, Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to- you're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. <laughs> Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. He's so nice! Uh... I wonder if this is the episode where Daniel finds Feels out good. everything. That'd be crazy. 
Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first Oh, it's a backpack. Trip. I thought it was a camping camping and it's gear. always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. So sweet. Oh my god! Okay. You guys don't want me around dogs. I'm annoying. Time for me to hit the road again. See you, Brody. We love you. Hey. We like don't you. Look so sad. We you don't like you. Contact me on my blog, the tribe called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can. Okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Bro hug. <laughs> oh God! If my name was Brody, I would never quit that shit. I'd be 84 and being like, bro hug. Uh, wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. He's actually Santa. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably try to traveling when I'm on the road, but he's the actual then, Santa. Take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Good thing we talked to him. For realsies. Okay. Time to hit the sack. What a gorgeous view, though. Three Seals Motel. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. We all gonna feed Mushroom. Oh, we've got some money. Plus 30 bucks. Damn. Okay, new objective added to your list. New items added to inventory. Let's take a look at everything. Um, right now, we've got whatever this... Is this a thing you put over your eyes? Brody's souvenir. That's definitely Brody's. He must have forgotten it when he passed the backpack on to me. AFK. A pine cone. I want to leave this behind, but Daniel insisted. Little kids. We got a rock. A little souvenir of Daniel's achievement at skipping stones. And I think there are some leaves. Must have packed my bag a bit too swiftly. Didn't mean to take these. Got a letter. Oh, Brody's letter. Sean, I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you, Daniel, are asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer and I have to be there. That's fucking sad. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good and you need to follow your... something. Okay, there we go. That helps. Your goal is good and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer here than you are there. There than you are here, sorry. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could hel help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when I'm not driving. Been a while since I've used a pen. Hope you decipher. Dude, okay. Brody's the best. He's uh, the really the best. There's a phone charger. Did he leave us a phone charger? That's pretty cool, but we have to get rid of our phone. And our home keys. Alright, so moving on to our phone. Low battery. I guess maybe we can charge it and use it one more time before we get rid of it. Um, got some more photos. Hell Hello, real world. Tried my best to save some money. Not too proud, but I had no choice. Are we thieves now and beggars? Now to check out how lost we are. Oh, they've got a picture of Brody in there and the dog. Such a good artist. Holy shit, crazy racist played sheriff and trapped me in this shithole. Daniel saved my ass. Kid is brave as fuck. What the fuck happened after? Earthquake? Bumped into weirdo while running away. He saved us. He's awesome. Feeling safe for first time since Seattle, thanks to Brody. Also, we picked an odd... Mushroom on our way out, probably a bad idea, but whatever makes Daniel smile again. I still have to tell him. At least now I know where we're off to. Puerto Lobos. Oh, sweet. We can put souvenirs on our bag. Well, let's put this guy on there, and uh, I guess we don't have these, but these are for later on. Kind of like in Life is Strange, where they'd show you like the pictures that you would take. We're, we're going here. Sand Castle, November 1st, 2016. Is that like our goal? No, I don't know. I think that's where we're at now. Anyway, let's head this way. Mushroom. Mushroom's good. You're holding her? Sweet. Is that blood? It's leaves. I was wrong. Alright, it's dark as hell. Good. 
Looks creepy. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. It's the top floor, room 10. I wonder if we should look around. Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Oh, we got snacks that we can't use, apparently. I think this is, oh, eight. This way, Daniel. Don't peek in there, you creep. Nine, ten. All right. Cool. I don't think I should snoop around. Not sure about that. Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. Good. That's exciting. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa. This is nice. And warm. Oh my god, Mushroom's already asleep. She's so cute. Daniel's so appreciative. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I Bitch, so I always went up rock, paper, scissors. Sorry, dude. Come on. You need to pit something. Got it. Oh, Boom, bitch. Shoot. Told you. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. I guess we're... Sure, I mean... I guess we're doing this again, until he wins. Suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> I knew I'll, I'll, let him, I'll let him have that bed. And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right. I'm going to run a bath. You totally reek. Especially you. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. All right, let's check out this oh, room. Cool. Hot dog man is on. Oh my god, relax. I remember this episode. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Aww. Just a little, buddy. Okay, okay. I used to be all over that show, too. At least it's keeping Daniel busy. Alright, we got a card. Yeah. Free Seals Motel, free Don't ice, free Wi Fi. Yeah. Got a handwritten note. Thanks for oh. everything, Brody. It's Brody's note. I'll be extra careful. Alright, what do we got to look at here? We got a closet. Why don't we... No, let's wait to go outside. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. <laughs> I can see why they left that tie. Kind of terrible. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Sure. That makes sense. Cool. Let's pick it up. Might as well collect shit while you're here. Alrighty, what do we got over here? Flyers. Brody gave us some cash so we can take one of these tomorrow. They're headed south. Bus to Mexico. Yeah, let's go hike tomorrow. Just for fun. <sighs> yeah. Fuck Halloween. Wish we could go there and pretend nothing happened. I just like looking at everything. For real. Or real bad. I can't believe I'm that happy to stay at a motel. Hmm. Where did Daniel get this? What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool and you Take stole it after before, me. so I thought <sighs> No man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if we really need it. Okay? Plus, Brody was super nice with us. If it's bad, then why did you do it? Hey, we had to. 
it, it was different. I don't Learning want you sticking around. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what if his mom gave it to him or something? I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but... Some things do not change. I thought they have a nice, pla nice place to stay comparatively to what there have been. Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. <laughs> All right. Start this bath. Oh, there's motel rules. No worries. We don't have to build a fire tonight. Guests must be over 21. No smoking, no loud noise or music, no cooking. Breakfast from 7 to 10. Check at 11. Yeah. Well, hopefully they don't see us walking around. Dude, you really look like shit. I'm gonna check my phone here in a little bit. The fire and the water effects in this game are kind of strange. They're like, they're not realistic as like the rest of the game. I don't know. I noticed that earlier with the fire when we were in the forest. It was kind of strange. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. All right, uh, let's start this. Fill her up. Let's make it a bubble bath for sure. I'm excited. Daniel will love this. That is a lot of soap. <laughs> Cat pool, man. All right, cool. That's running. I guess I'm gonna have to come turn this off here in a minute, right? Or is it? Gonna... Look, it's hot dog man. Yeah, I guess. All right, cool. We'll just let that hang out. Uh, what's up there? Oh, put the towel there. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. That is a bubbly ass bath. Let me tell you what, that looks good, man. I might take a bath after this shit. All right, how's my phone doing? Still charging, okay. It might take all night. Watch TV for a moment, though. So, what's up? The buns want to catch hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah, the giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes, and they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> city mayo. It's been ages. Jesus. <laughs> Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude, and I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. It feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. All right. Let's check on the. Oh, oops. Let's check on this bath. Okay. I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know. <sighs> You've got to get your bath on. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay. I'm going. Is Mushroom getting a bath too? She probably needs one, God knows. Oh my God, whoa, so many bubbles. Try How are we gonna get a rabies shot, or a distemper shot? Lots of questions. I know the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay, don't worry. I should right. throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. Yeah, oh, new objective, I guess. Get rid of your phone. All right. Is there any way I could look at it really quick? It's charging. Just like last texts or whatever. Time to say goodbye to my oh. lies. Nope. <laughs> you throwing it out there? I don't think that's. I mean, if you throw it deep in there, in that grass. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. No. Oh. No, we can't. We can't risk it. 
They're probably tracking that shit. I. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Fuck, fuck! I meant to put no! Should I go back? No, no, no. Sorry. That's not the decision I wanted to make. It's right here, so let's just. <sighs> I don't want to call her. It's a bad fucking idea. Here we are. Do not call Lila. No, no, no. Horrible idea. Just throw the phone out. Be done with it. Can't do it. his dad. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out no, your let's go ahead and let's get out. Get out of here. That's fucking sad. I guess he was just rest memories before he gets rid of this phone because it has everything on it. Pictures, videos, and everything. Check on Daniel now. God knows what he's up to in there with the dog. Okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Oh shit, we're doing it now. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What is he wearing? Why is it so dirty? We'll join him. Oh, man. We haven't played Guitar Fighter for years. <laughs> you played on easy mode. I was on hard mode. You're so jealous. I'm the best guitar player. I don't know what these buttons mean. Oh. Dance party. Alright, cool. Good dance party. Daniel, uh, come here. This is it. Oh my god. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Daniel Soda is our objective. Oh, I better not see somebody out here. Ugh, creepy. That soda machine is down here. Just hurry up. This place is creepy. Oh god. Dude. Daniel. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! I can't remember. Everything happened so fast. You knew Dad was dead. You knew it. Why? Why did you? Shit. I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. I hate you. Not my brother. Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! Oh. Shh. 
It's okay. <laughs> I want that. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> This is a serious moment. Go away. Oh God, it told me we were gonna see death. I'm sorry. I just... Sorry. Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. No. I promise I won't lie to you again. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. That was crazy. A monster. Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. I was about to say, are we gonna talk about how Daniel just like caused like a fucking tornado? What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. My dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. There's, things are different now that he knows that's for sure. Different. Where's the dog? Can you tell me a story? Like you did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there she is. two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa. They all lived happily together. But this is sad as fuck. One day, hunters took their dad away. This is the end of part one, I think. I'm glad he found out, but I'm not happy with the way that he found out. I guess it was gonna happen anyway. Because I feel like Daniel would have been pissed either way, so. There's the only ones on this. Oh, no, they're not. Troops like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Shit, I'm excited for part two. I know part two is out. I know I was talking about it last episode, but I know it's out. I checked. Part three is the one that's gonna come out soon, so I have plenty of time. I'll be fine. Shit. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I hope here we get to see decisions, uh, kind of like we did in Life is Strange 1 with the what people picked and uh, shit like that. What I missed. I like always seeing what I missed and then I'm like, damn it. Buck!
that's it. That's episode one, you guys. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let this roll and then uh, we will look at the results here. All right, cool, we're here at the results. So, um, let me see. Majority, you kept the Choco Crisp for yourself. Okay, everybody, majority, I picked the one. You told the truth to Esteban about the party. Most everyone did. Um, I refused the hug, I am in the minority. I just felt the dynamic was like, oh, like Sean's like, oh, I'm a teenager, like stop it, dad, sort of thing. That's why I picked that. Um, you didn't take money from the jar, most people, um, well, nobody really put money in the jar, they're like, fuck that. You confronted Brett, you questioned Daniel, most people picked to confront Brett. Um, you decided to steal in the parking lot. I did? I don't remember that part. You begged for food yourself. Most people didn't beg, but whatever. You stole from the gas station? Nobody... Nobody, a lot of people did not steal from the gas station, which kind of surprises me because you've had the opportunity and it's sort of like a, I don't know. You hit, uh, you hit Hank and stole the camping gear or you ran away with Daniel. Most people hit him and stole the camping gear, but we totally, I, I was the minority on that. Um, didn't call back. That's the minority too. That surprises me. Uh, I feel like that's a really stupid idea to call back, uh. Especially if you're hunted like that. I'm sure they're tracking everybody and questioning everybody. Promise Daniel you wouldn't lie to him again. Yeah. My majority. Alright, we got some Daniel stuff. Oh, that's interesting. So they have each, bo uh, each brother. Daniel learned about trailblazing. Uh, mo yes. Pretty much the majority on that. Uh, Daniel didn't fall in the woods. I guess he didn't fall. When would he have fallen? I'm not sure. Daniel fetched fire for the wood. Daniel built a fort or Daniel built a fort in the forest. Uh, I was the minority on Daniel fetched wood for the fire. I don't know where he would have built a fort. Daniel won the wood race. Um, most, he didn't, most of the people that did this, they didn't do the wood thing, which that just popped up. Oh, cause I said I was gonna do it with him, I think so. Um, Daniel learned how to skip stones, minority. He didn't learn. I thought it'd be a good bonding experience if he learned. Daniel didn't get mad at you in the woods. Okay. Daniel didn't eat enough. That was a minority and that sucks. Oh, Power Bear toy. Yeah, I didn't want to spend the money on that. What it was like a dollar per play, it's crazy. Daniel stole something from Brody and he didn't steal something, which surprises me because most people didn't want to steal something from the convenience store, which means that Daniel wouldn't have witnessed me stealing anything, but most people say that he stole, so crazy. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode. Uh, like this video if you like this video and comment down below. Let me know. Whoa. All right, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Is this the preview? Okay. Trust me, you can do it. Oh, they're focusing on his power. Shit. Moves things with his mind. Cool. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Life is Strange series so far. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I like hearing your opinions about it. Um, creates a good conversation, a good interaction between uh, me and you guys. Subscribe to my channel for videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays are for gaming, Saturdays are for doing whatever I wanna do. Thank you guys for bearing with me. The last couple of weeks I've been pretty under motivated um, to do videos. I don't know why. I just get into these mindsets sometimes and I appreciate you sticking with me while I work through my own things. Thanks again for watching. Peace.